Hello and welcome everybody, this is Josh Levak, and it's time for more Kingdom Hearts 2. In the last episode, we unlocked the gate, Floating Island 2, Ninja World, because, you know, that's that's entirely what that, that boat in the skull means, right? Right? <laughs> okay, so yeah, in this episode, we're going to be heading into Port Royal. Or, uh, Port, Port Royal. I don't know how you pronounce it. I've heard it both ways. It's weird. But yeah, so here are a very, very weird looking world compared to the rest this of the characters. Kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> By kind of different, they mean more realistic looking, and it kind of suffers for it. Actually, there's no kind of it. Does suffer for it. It suffered then. It suffered back when it first came out. It suffers now. Um, and again, it is very jarring to see the even just seeing like the characters here to the to the background. When we actually start seeing actual, the rest of the world is gonna be like the same. It's gonna be like the same kind of jarring look. Um, but yeah, let's head on down and, and see what the heck's going on. <laughs> Aztec treasury? Aye. Yeah, see what Aztec I mean? Curse put on it. We are neither among the living nor the dead. Really? Because you look like regular pirates to me. Ah. <sighs> Oh, pirates, that's it. Oh, they aren't ninjas after all. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa. But yeah, you look at the you look at look at Pete and then look at the rest of the world, look at the Well Look at the characters here is like really really off putting. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the mood showed what you really are. And that kind of gives away I what the rose says. Say. Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you. And don't you forget it. <laughs> that we won't. And we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. <laughs> Man, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. I might go ahead and mention, yes, this is based on the parts of the Caribbean universe. And no, this, and yes, again, I mean, yes, this did come out before the sequels. For better or worse. <laughs> Personally, I like the second movie, but, the no, second and third movie, I thought the third movie was okay. Um... But yeah, I uh, haven't seen the fourth movie, nor do I have an interest. But yeah, right there, you know, so we aren't doing any damage to the pirates because, well, no use. they're cursed. You can't beat them. <laughs> I, what do you expect? Um. Yeah. You best be saying your prayers. Hey, Zombie pirates. Stay away from their magic. What for? Weren't you listening to me before? How does Pete know all this? How does Pete know this? Man, I, I know he comes from another world too, but I don't know. Is it common knowledge that to keep waiting like that, work like this. Well, I guess it'd be magic. I mean, the time travel exists in this universe. In this, yeah, in this universe. It's, Pretty much anything game at that point. Um, but yeah. So yeah, basically the gimmick of this world is you see a bunch of pirates, uh, get them into moonlight, and then you can actually deal damage. Um, one thing you're probably wondering right now is we got a drive form two episodes ago, and I haven't I haven't shown it off yet. Well, there's a reason. Wisdom form can only be leveled up by the number of heartless that you kill. Yeah, it's that specific. Not number of enemies, not number of 
Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty much said all there. It's the number of heartless that you kill. It makes him turn into heartless. So we are here. Maybe we can take a pirate trip out for a spin. <laughs> Just kidding. Where are those guys he headed into town? Yeah, I think they were looking for treasure. So, yeah. <laughs> People are looking for treasure in a town. Well, to be fair, in the first movie, it was kind of that same thing. Um, they were looking for the bits of the cursed treasure that were left over. Where are you taking I think, me? I think they were technically only looking for one piece, because that's like the one, la the one thing they were looking for. I just realized I could make a One Piece reference. Damn it, if only I'd ever watched that anime. <laughs> we'll deal with them. Go, take cover. And there we have Will Turner. The most uh, annoying person in the pirate universe. <laughs> okay, so here we're gonna Run for him! Ah, Well, kind of screwed up on this one, didn't we? Didn't I? Um, I promise I will show off wisdom form here soon. Um, one thing I will say, like I said, wisdom form is levels up based on the amount of magic you, or not amount of magic, amount of heartless you kill. So the best heartless to kill would definitely be like the shadows or low low health heartless shadows, uh, soldiers, stuff like that. It doesn't take too hard, too long to kill. Well done. My own fencing skills are not to be ashamed of. But I've never faced such a foe, such foes as that before. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do better with a bow, huh? Yes, yeah, making reference that oh, that's Orlando Bloom. Come on, I can't. I, I can't not make that reference at least once to Lord of the Rings. He he plays Legolas, which kind of is like the same character in a way. That's, that's all I remember them. <laughs> oh. Again, this is this is coming from someone who's only seen the Lord of the Rings once all the way through. <laughs> I still haven't seen the second Hobbit movie. Okay, well, let's go. All right, we've got to get to the docks. And find Gandalf. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I promise I won't be making too many more uh, references to... I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna... Ooh. Turn chest. Do you wanna make it to here real quick? Um... I think I've shown this off before, but it's been a while since I've been able to actually do it. Um... Whenever you leave to the world, whenever you leave the world in drive form, your drive gauge will be full. No matter, even if it wasn't full the first time. Um, so yeah, pretty much an easy way to level up. This is actually a really good area to level up wisdom form in. Um, because right off this way and going the other way, you run into Heartless. You can actually make a huge circle around here, fighting nothing but Heartless for a while in town. Um, go ahead and head into Wisdom Form. And show so Wisdom Form, you know something is a bit strange, or sliding around, or shooting instead of attacking. Um... And yeah, we're also blue instead of red, which is kind of to be, which is kind of an obvious one. Also, our our uh, moves change a little bit. Uh, each drawing form that uses magic, which will be all the others from here on out, actually do have um, have some uh, crap. Has some form of magic. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. And each magic is is slightly different. And yes, I am doing this. <laughs> uh, this is how I normally play whenever I'm opening up drive forms. Um, I haven't been doing a good job of showing this off, primarily for time constraints and stuff like that. But at this point, I think I think I'm just gonna say screw the time constraints. That's just assume every episode is going to take about 30 to 40 minutes to do anyway. 20 30 minutes, excuse me. Um, but yeah. 
too late. Huh? And there goes the Those black pirates pearl. kidnapped Miss Swan and took her to their ship. <laughs> now they've sailed, and I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. Black and pearl here's our Johnny Depp impersonation it. for this Best evening. Yourself another girl, mate. And to be fair, you. he doesn't do ha a half bad job. It's just the difference in voices, is just the one problem. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. She'll make a fine pirate ship. A pirate? <laughs> huh. Captain and the Jack music. Uh, where do we begin with the music? Apparently, they couldn't get the rights to the actual theme song for Pirates, so they had to make they had to make do with their own interpretation of it. Which I find weird because it's Disney that owns the the rights to Pirates, so what? Uh, it's weird. The copyright is weird. Like how they lost the rights to Tarzan, but I think you can still every now and then see Tarzan air on Disney Channel, like going during their movie nights or whatever. Assuming they still have movie nights. I think, I know for a fact you can probably still buy it. Thanks. Yeah, I know for a fact you can probably. There, there's my qual, there's uh, my qualifier there. <laughs> there's my insurance there, so. When you can't buy it, Brandon, <laughs> when you can't buy it, just know I said, I said I know for a fact that you probably can. <laughs> yeah. Um. But hurry. Naturally. You really want to be a pirate? Of course not. Come on, every guy, every for everyone wants to be a pirate. As long as it's not Somalian pirates. So if South Park taught me anything, Somalian pirates are not fun. <laughs> also, getting like sniped three times in a row by one, by one or not sniped three times in a row. Uh, what was it that happened? What, oh, I know. I know. It reflected the news story at the time. Like one guy took out like five Somalian pirates with one bullet <laughs> or one shot. That that was the rumor. But it, like it turned out, oh, it was the one that was one shot. It was just like he shot them each once. They took them out with only taking one shot. Um, right here we have a new spell reflect, which is. Yeah, I've never used it. I just kind of have a hard time. For me, it's hard, it's hard for me to get used to something like Reflect. Um, actually, this, I might want Jack in my party right now because he might have. Uh, does he have? Yeah. Okay. He has Lucky Lucky. Okay. And three stacks of draw. Uh, draw is an ability that pulls orbs from further away. Um, so yeah, you can, it's a stackable thing, like, lucky, lucky, the more you have, the more power you have, the more powerful the spell, be the ability becomes, so yeah, um, so lucky, lucky is one of those items I really, or one of those abilities I really, really like, um, we'll go over wisdom here in a bit, I do want to equip that, um, How did I not equip high jump? Wow. I wonder it didn't, I wonder it didn't feel like I, I was jumping high. Um, auto limit and Fantasia, which will actually, uh, I think get rid of Thunder for Fantasia. I should not. Okay, we'll do that. Um, yeah, wisdom form, we got a couple, a couple things new to wisdom form. Uh, we got Wisdom Shot. Changes the command to attack to shoot. So instead of attacking, you're shooting enemies. Uh, mobile action. Actions will be enabled, enabled while moving, so you can cast spells while moving. Magic Haste. Shortens magic casting time and enables rapid magic combos, which you saw me doing. Uh, spice. Powers of the finishing move of magic combos. Uh, and Retaliating Slash, which is something we got from ourselves. We already know that. And then Quick Run. This is the ability I want to get from Wisdom Form. And after low, like level two, four, and you know, every even level, we'll be getting upgrades for it. Uh, two, four, and six, I believe. Um. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. And basically, you press square, and you sprint, and you do a dash forward. Um. 
It's one of my favorite abilities to have. Uh, we've got uh, scan, arrow, all the stuff we have from before. Uh, though Hestiga might be a new one. Yeah, Hastiga is a new one. Do we have Hastiga on here? I don't think we do. Nope, okay. So, Magic Hastiga is basically whenever you run out of magic, it restores your meter faster. Yeah, I think I mentioned that before, too. Eh, oh well. Just to recap, just in case. Um, I think before we head on out, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. And in the episode off, because you know I want there to be at least a few 15 minute episodes in this in this uh let's play. <laughs> uh, though if they were all 15 minutes, I guess we wouldn't be able to get through them, would we? <laughs> be about part one million by the time we got to the end of the story. So yeah, in the next episode we'll we will be joining Captain Jack Sparrow and Will Turner. Yeah, Will yeah, Turner, right? Um, for some reason I feel like that's wrong. Anyway, uh, so we'll be joining Legolas and Captain Jack Sparrow, also known as uh, Sweeney Todd, Mad Hatter, uh, that one guy in the butterfly effect, which I never saw that movie, and Willy Wonka. There we go. There, I knew there was another one. <laughs> I knew there was another one I knew of. <laughs> So yeah, in the next episode we'll be joining uh, all those people in saving uh, Elizabeth Swan, which I don't know any of her actress's name, the uh, roles. So yeah, <laughs> that kind of shows you how well I know people. Um, well, yeah, so we'll, we'll be doing all that in the next episode. Until then, I will see you guys later.